All right, y'all. Happy Sunday again. We're going to get started on this dinner. Um, I have some beef short ribs, as I told you, and I want to show. Are those gorgeous or what, y'all? I went in the store for some oxtail, but these beef short ribs, I couldn't pass them up. They're gorgeous. Okay, and I got quite a few, which we, we can eat off of for two days. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get started. I got my Dutch oven here, so I got a little bit of grease in it. I'm going to get these floured up a little bit, and I'm going to get them seared off. Okay, y'all know the drill. I'm going to get them se seared off, and then we'll put our vegetables in. All right, we'll be right back to start cooking these beef short ribs. All right, y'all, I'm back real quick. I just wanted to show you that I'm browning these beef short ribs. I hope you can see down here in this pot. Try to get y'all a closer view. See those beautiful, look at that. That's all you want on them. That, that's all you want, okay? You want to get a nice color on them. I did put some flour on them. And y'all know, I say it all the time, the flour is to help with our gravy when we start to cook them, okay? It will cook into its own gravy. We won't have to do anything to it, okay? I'm going to finish these up and we'll be back. All right, y'all, I'm back. I got the last of these. It was two pots um, here, okay? And what I tried to do is turn these pieces where they are browning on all sides, okay? Is that meat gorgeous or what, y'all? Okay, so I'm gonna pull it out, the rest of it. And it's so we can drop our vegetables in. And this stuff here at the bottom, we wanna leave that in there. All of that is just good stuff, okay? It's all good stuff. I had it on a medium to sear this meat and turn it down just a little bit to put our vegetables in. And my vegetables, let me show you, I have onions, uh, all of the bell peppers, and I have some um, thyme here, okay? And you know I'm going to put in um, some fresh garlic. That will go in last. Okay, and I'm just taking my fork and scraping up the bottom. Look at that meat, y'all. It is gorgeous. All right. Oh, don't you dare. Okay, y'all. I know that's a lot of meat. But we don't eat these often. When we do, it's like a treat. So just like oxtail, you know, they, they, they cost, okay? Let's be real. They cost. So we treat ourselves every now and again. I'm going to take and throw my vegetables into that same grease. Okay? That's my vegetables. Now, I didn't put all of the seasoning on my meat yet. I did not. Um, I'll add it to the water, and I am using water. Now, if you want to use broth, you can do that. I'm going to use water, and I'm going to use a little bit of this beef bouillon. Okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and get some water. Some water, and I'm going to grab my garlic. And this will require water to cover the meat. This meat is going to cook a couple of hours. They don't take as long as oxtails to cook, but, but they take a couple of hours, okay? Look at, oh, y'all, and the stuff on the bottom of this pan is just so beautiful. It's going to be so good. I'm going to put just a smidgen of flour in here with these. To also help with our gravy. Okay. I'm going to put about a tablespoon. I'm going to get a tablespoon. I'm using that same flour that I covered my meat with. Okay. 
All right. Now, because we use this flour, you know, just check on your on on your meat to make sure it's not sticking. These are not going in the oven. These are going to cook on top of the stove. There's certain meats, oxtail, beef short ribs. I don't put in the oven. Not to say I, I've never, but um, I like to cook those two meats in particular on top of the stove. I like to watch them. Okay. And, and they just, to me, taste better when they're cooked on the stove. All right. I'm scraping up. And we're not going to work. We're not trying to cook the vegetables because they're going to cook a while. Okay. Look at that, y'all. One thing I need to add in here right now is my garlic. I'm going to get that. I haven't cut it up yet. I'm going to cut it right up into that pot. Okay, I'm coming. All right, here we are. Okay, I have my garlic. Let me put that on in here. I'm just going to cut it up. doesn't have to be that small because that's going to cook a couple of hours too. And it's going to make this meat amazing. I got two good sized cloves here because we like garlic. All right. And once I get this garlic cut, cut up, we can go ahead on and put our meat back in. We're going to add what seasonings I did not add initially to the meat. Look at that garlic, y'all. Oh. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Gorgeous. Okay, let's put our meat back in. These vegetables have sauteed long enough. Sorry about the noise, y'all. All right, let's put this meat back in. In no particular way, just drop it in. Okay, there's so much in this in this dish. That's why I'm doing it like this. I don't want to drop my meat on the floor. Can't afford to lose any of this meat. Okay, now we should be able to get it in here. I guess, y'all. I guess. All of the juice that comes off that meat, put it in. Leave nothing behind. All those crumbs that, that I took out, they go back in. Look at that pot of goodness. Okay. So let's add our water, and again, I'm using water, okay? I've got about three and a half cups here. I'm sure I'm going to need more. You want to cover this meat, all right? It's got to cook. Just getting a little bit more water, and then we're going to add the rest of our seasoning. See, I didn't even put salt on this yet. All right, so we got water in here. We're going to take and we're going to add some of this beef bouillon. I'm not using broth, okay? It's up to you what you want to use. All right. That was a good little bit more than a tablespoon, I'm sure. Um, I'm going to put some black pepper. You have me that salt over there, please? Little black pepper. Okay, our salt. And I'll tell you what else I, put, I already put on the meat. I put some granulated garlic. 
I put some Laurie's, just, just a wee bit. I put a wee bit of All Purpose, the adobo. And, oh, and I put, of course, some oxtail seasoning, okay? I like to put this in my beef, okay? I'm going to put a lid on here. And I'm going to let it cook. And periodically, I will come and I will check it. Okay, just getting that seasoning in there good. Getting some of the vegetables up. All right. And this is going to cook on a medium. Okay, I'm going to let it come to a boil and then make sure it's on a medium for two hours. We'll get on our mac and cheese. All right, y'all. I'm back with this mac and cheese that we're making it's old school mac and cheese y'all okay in here already i have a piece of monster cheese and i have some monterey jack cheese okay it's an eight ounce block of the monterey jack i cut about six ounces of it off i may end up using all of it i didn't get by the deli um at public so i bought a small package of my um of the monster cheese and this is eight ounces i put all of that in here okay the other cheese that i'm using is some extra sharp cheddar cheese okay and all i'm doing is taking and slicing it you know kind of thin of course just taking it and slicing it i don't even want to shred it y'all i'm just going to slice it this is the way i normally do it anyway this is the way I learned to do it. <laughs> and it comes out delicious, okay? In fact, I like the slicing better than I do the shredding. Because it, it's a little bit thicker. But it will melt, y'all. Trust and believe it will melt throughout this macaroni and cheese. I got my water on as soon as my noodles are done. We will take and mix this together. Now, the other thing that I'm going to put in here, I have some sour cream. I have two eggs. And I have, uh, oh yeah, some Velveeta cheese. I have right here. Okay, this is an eight ounce. I'm probably going to use half of that. I'm just going to cut that up just like I'm cutting this up. And I want to use all of this, y'all. This cheddar cheese, that's my favorite in macaroni and cheese. Of course, you can use any cheese that you want. Okay. See, that's just a lot faster for me. I don't have to dirty up the, the shred th uh, thingamajiggy. Okay, so that's my cheese. Uh, with the exception of the Velveeta, I will get that in there. Um, I think I mentioned I'm putting eggs in. I'm putting in two eggs and some milk. Okay, so as soon as those noodles are done, I'm going to use some butter as well. I didn't mention that, okay? This is a stick. I'm going to use a little bit more than half. Just put it in my dish. When my hot noodles hit all of this, it'll begin to melt. Okay, it will begin to melt. I used about three-fourths of this stick, y'all. All right? But we'll be right back to put this together, this mac, mac and cheese. All right, y'all. We are back with these uh, beef short ribs. We're an hour into them cooking. Look at the gravy, y'all, that it has already formed from that flour that we put in here. And they're not done. They've only been cooking an hour. But what I'm going to do right now, look at that. Look at that gravy. And y'all know if you've been watching me, the problem with this gravy is that it's not dark enough for me. So what I'm going to do, I have some of my browning, okay? And I'm going to put just a smidgen of it in there, y'all. Just, just a smidge. See what color, see how it's darkening up? I like my gravy when it comes to beef. I like it dark. That browning is not going to hurt anything, okay? It's just color. All right, and it could stand just a tad more. 
You don't have to put this in your gravy, okay? Just, just a smidgen more, okay? You don't have to use it. I use it when my gravy is not dark enough for me. It's going to taste the same. It's not going to change the taste of the gravy. I just, I like it. I like the way it looks when it's dark, when I'm eating beef, all right? So, we got another good hour to go, y'all, all right? And we'll come back and we'll look at them when they're finished. All right, y'all, we're back with this macaroni and cheese. Remember, we have our cheese cut up. My noodles are done. I'm using large elbow. You can use any kind of pasta you want. Okay, this was a, what size box was this? This is a six, this was a 16 ounce box. Or well, is a 16 ounce box of noodles. Okay, I put them in there hot. Uh, I put them in a strainer, got the water off, and put them right in here hot. Okay, I'm putting black pepper. I don't put a whole lot of seasoning in my mac and cheese. At this point, this is paprika, y'all. And you know it's just mainly for color. But any kind of seasoning you want in here, you can go ahead and put it in, y'all. Okay, go ahead on and put it in. I keep my macaroni and simple. Uh, macaroni and cheese very simple as I do many things that I cook. Okay, but believe you me, it's going to be good. It is going to be good. Now, you did, You won't see me put salt because when I cook my noodles, I put plenty of salt in my noodles, okay, when they're cooking, right? Right when that water comes to a boil, I drop my salt and then I put in my noodles, all right? This is going to start to melt, okay? Of course, it'll finish melting in the oven, but it will start to melt. Okay, we got our butter in here. So now what I'm going to do, I have two eggs here. Okay, two large eggs. I'm going to put in these eggs. I'm going to beat them just, just a little bit. And then I'm going to put some sour cream in them. Okay. Got a little bit of sour cream left in this small container here. We're going to use that. And then I have another container there. And this is probably not the best setup, y'all, right? Okay, and let's open up this big one here. And I'm putting in a good, uh, let's see, let's to a good three heaping tablespoons of sour cream, okay? And all that's going to do is make it creamy. It's going to make it creamy, y'all. All right. We're going to mix this up. We need to put some milk. I'm also going to put milk in here. All right. And I have just regular old 2% milk. It's all good. Because we got enough cheese and sour cream in here to keep this rich. Okay. So I'm just mixing it up somewhat with those eggs. All right, and I'm also gonna put some milk in here. Now this won't be enough milk, but it'll get it started. Okay. Stir that around a little bit and then I'm gonna drop it in, y'all. Just take and drop it in. There we go. Now I know that's not enough milk. I'm gonna put some more in here. Okay, so I'm using, I don't know how much milk I'm using. I don't even know how much this holds. This is one and one fourth, and I probably already used a cup. So it's a couple of cups of milk, but what I do, is I look at where my milk comes up in here. If it comes halfway up this dish, I'm good. Okay, and I'm just gonna mix it. That is simple macaroni and cheese. I'm not over the stove with the cheese sauce. Now when I'm in a rush, this is the way it goes right here. And this is the best, trust and believe. This is good. 
Now, I still don't feel like I have enough milk. I'm almost there. I'm just going to put a little bit more in, y'all. I'd say I use about two and a half cups. All right. So I think we have everything in here. The only thing I'm going to do now, I did buy some. Uh, and don't worry about this cheese. It's going to melt. Okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. So now all I'm going to do is put some cheese on top. And for the top, I will get the shredded cheese for the for the top. On the inside, I like the block cheese, but on top, we can use the shredded. And this is what? Cracker Barrel. I like this. It's softer than that that other one, that Kraft. It's a little bit, it's cut a little bit wider as well. Okay. Yes, yes, and yes, y'all. Is that beautiful or what? And it's cheesy. Okay, that's going in the oven. Now, I'm going to put a lid on it. It's going to cook with the lid for about 30 minutes. Then I will take the lid off and let it cook probably for another 10 minutes or so. Okay, and when it comes out, I will come back to show you. All right, y'all, let's take a look at those beef short ribs. Look at that. Is that gorgeous or what, y'all? Is it gorgeous or what? Look at those. And now these will have some, some, look at that gravy. These will have some grease on them, okay? They will. But we ain't worrying about that. Look how beautiful these are. I'm just going to let them continue to cook. I have them on low now. Continue to cook until this cabbage and my macaroni and cheese is done which the macaroni is in the oven. It should be finishing up real, real soon. I have my, um, and I didn't show the cabbage because y'all have seen me. I don't want to bore y'all. <laughs> I don't want to bore y'all. But this is my, the, the start of my cabbage. Okay. I'm going to, this is just the green leaves. Yeah, I got a couple of green leaves this time. So I'm going to take and add the rest of my cabbage to that. I don't know if y'all could see that real good. If you couldn't, I apologize for it. Let me show you again. This is the green leaves for the cabbage, and I've got some salt pork in there, okay? I fried up my salt pork a little bit, which, and I did put some bacon grease in there, okay, that, that we have saved here. So I'm going to drop the rest of the cabbage. This meal is coming together, and we'll be ready to eat. All right, y'all, I'm back with that macaroni and cheese. Look at that macaroni and cheese, y'all. Yes, yes, look at it. Mm-hmm, doesn't that look wonderful? Okay, so I'm gonna put a plate together. I'm just waiting on this cornbread to come out of the oven. We're gonna put a plate together so we can share. Hey, y'all, I'm back. I know I got this weird angle going on today but i want to show you this dinner this simple dinner okay i made some cabbage there's my rice and y'all there is my beef short ribs y'all look look at that meat look at that y'all this is good okay and let me show you the macaroni and cheese mm-hmm Mm. Look at that creamy macaroni and cheese, y'all. Look at it. Ain't nothing dry by it. Mm, 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 mm. Yes. Old school macaroni and cheese, okay? Mm hmm. Let me have some cornbread. All right. Simple sun Sunday meal. Nothing special. Okay, didn't take me long. The meat took the longest, of course. Ah, a little cabbage on. All I did was steamed it today with some salt pork and I put some seasoning in it, okay? Mmm, y'all. This right here, this is good stuff. This is good. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you don't have to make a cheese sauce to have a creamy macaroni and cheese, okay? But some of y'all already know that. Y'all, thank you for joining me today. Another Sunday, okay? Remember, y'all, to like. Hit that like button. Share comment and subscribe to my channel if you have not and i'm going to be back real soon with another video bye bye